The next piece you want to think about is what are the key resources? What do you need to make the business model work? What assets are important? And what's an example of an asset in a, in a key resource? Well, finance. Do you need capital? Do you need a line of credit? Some assets are, and resources are physical. Do you need physical plant, like a manufacturing line? Do you need specialized machines? Do you need vans and for delivery? Do you need cars? Is there something else you need? Is there intellectual property you need? Is there patents you need to acquire or protect? Do you need to acquire customer lists? Or is it just that you need to get great people, great software programmers in a specific area, or great hardware designers, or great manufacturing people? And then finally, again, uh, the interaction between intellectual and human capital is that's another key resource. What specifically do you need to do to keep these people and who are they? The next piece is who are your key partners and suppliers? And partnerships are kind of interesting is we need to ask ourselves before what's the deal is what exactly are we acquiring from partners? And also what activities are they going to perform and when? And this is where startups sometimes make a mistake of thinking, well, large companies do partnerships. I guess I need those too on day one. It turns out the types of partnerships you need in year one are certainly not the ones you're going to need in year three or five or ten. And the types of partnerships could be strategic alliances, joint ventures, just regular suppliers and buyers. And so you need to be thinking through who, are, who they are and actually getting out of the building and testing them.